Good evening YouTube, it is I, Danielle, better known as Danielle, a happy medium and in this video, up for discussion this evening and off the back of a couple of questions and people asking how I got started in the industry I want to talk a little bit about open circles, why they're important in mediumship a couple of do's and don'ts and how these can really help you move forward and get yourself a place on that rostrum so for many people who don't know my story, I happened to be in an open circle one night here in the northeast of England. A particular lady saw my work and asked me to come back and do a demonstration for mediumship for her on a public rostrum or church floor, whatever it is you may call it, wherever it is you're watching this video in the world. And open circles are what we call practice grounds. Now there's been a lot of development in open circles over the last few years, so there's a lot more online these days. There's a lot more people sort of doing um, closed circles where only a handful of people are sort of working within them parameters. Um, but also there's a lot of like online ones where there's about 20, 40 people all sitting sort of working, testing, you know, giving links, etc, etc, etc. And open circles is predominantly what they're for. That's exactly what they mean. Most are running SNU churches or awareness centres, um, wherever you are in the world. Um, and each and every one of them will have a circle leader. So it's normally the president of the church or it's normally a committee member of the church. It may be the chairwoman of the church, whatever it may be, who will oversee the circle and make sure the circle runs to the best of its ability. There's no sort of uh, carry on in that, you know. Um, but normally most open circles run really, really well. Um, I was <laughs> I was uh, in the summertime out with my students and I was at an open circle. And I've got to be honest, it was the first and only time I hope anything like that never happens again for me. I was mesmerized let's put it that way um so circles have a really good they're very good for practicing basically for pulling them spirit links for doing your practicing for getting out there in the movement getting to meet like-minded people getting to be able to see the church see your work and you know be able to sort of maybe have an invite to come back and do some more public work which is opening up on them rostrums a couple of things I would say about open circles that it is quite daunting for the newbie. The newbie might not know what's going on. So normally they'll sit in a round circle, depending on how many people's there, and everybody will take their turn sort of getting up. The the circle leader will normally say to anybody, "Have you got anything? Would you like to get up, give off, or would you like to stand up and give what you've got?" Now, good thing with circles is sometimes. The, the even the littlest bit of information once you stand up you end up sort of giving a lot more so it's always vitally important that if you even if you just have this feeling the best thing to do is get up and, and, and give it because normally that ends up tennis will then follow on with with something more there and it's a real good opportunity to get over them fears worrying about what people think because obviously everybody's looking at you in this circle and it's a real great opportunity to get to learn and understand a little bit more about what's going on most open circles i've been to i've had no bother i haven't sat in any development ones um online but i am going to be sitting on a couple over the next few weeks and months um one just to see how they work two sorry because i like to keep my skill set fresh and, and three maybe even have a pop at a couple of messages myself because you know i do like to um give messages as well as receive them so i'm certainly going to be giving that a look and see how how they differ from obviously the open circles that i've seen here on you know just the normal snu or awareness centers couple of don'ts so one thing i would say is don't get too comfortable in one one particular open circle make sure that you're having a variety go in different places try, trying new things two don't let people tell you your mediumship in open circles. Lots of people will demonstrate and will do their mediumship very, very differently to you. Don't get too caught up in doing your mediumship in a way that this particular centre or this particular circle may do that. If they're doing it different to you, that's okay, but don't lose your mediumship in the in the process of that. Don't change your mediumship in order to fit in with that circle. It may not be the circle for you. You may have to go elsewhere. You may hear lots of little different things in circles. Um, a lot of them are still doing like protection and stuff like that, which I understand and we're still working through that in the movement. But again, don't get too caught up in that. You know, if you're not doing them things by all means, you know you keep with what you believe in like i said don't get sort of tucked down a road that's you know not the road in which that you want to walk there but i gotta be honest most open circles i've been to you know apart from a couple of hiccups here and there the majority of them have been run very very well and very very professionally and i've seen lots and lots and lots 
of you know really good evidence brought through on open circles and more so because i've been out with my students over the last six months and i know a lot of my other students out my mentorship programs they go out on their own as well and you know they thoroughly enjoy you know here in the northeast of england what we have to offer so my advice to anybody who may be watching this um video and has maybe been thinking about whether or not to you know hit an open circle go along try it out it's a really good place to get your work recognized it's a great way for these churches to be able to see your work people say how do you get onto a public platform this is the way by going open circles it also keeps your skill set really fresh as well because you're having to go every week so you're demonstrating or you're just working with the spirit world which is helping them to open that mind gaining more knowledge but also it's an opportunity for you to be picked up by the presidents of the the church and ultimately an opportunity for you to be able to become that public demonstrator if that's what you so wish to do it could also be that you could go off into another avenue which is you could be invited into a closed circle an awareness group or a development circle which could help bring your mediumship on if you've been doing mediumship on your own which i don't um not knock you know i'm one of their mediums who did a lot of my mediumship on my own but we all need a help in hand from time to time so this is a really good way as well of being able to be invited into movies awareness classes development classes and then from there your mediumship will continue to evolve and grow in the work and that you do yourself so really open circles are a really important part of you know your development your mediumship and if you're in an area where the online stuff and that's there get involved i know there's lots of um people um doing them and i am actually going to speak to somebody about maybe promoting one here on the channel so watch out for that coming in there so hopefully this will have helped you understand a little bit more about what open circles are about you know why we have open circles and for those who are the general public you can also go along so even if you're not the trainee medium or the buddha medium or even the most advanced medium and or some mediums who are still going out in open circles even though the public demonstrators as well just to sort of keep their hand in and I do that as well because I like to see what's going on out in the industry. I like to be able to keep an eye on the new up-and-comers. I like to see new evidence. I like to see how other mediums and new mediums are working. But for those who are the general public, it's an opportunity for you to get a free message. It's an opportunity for you to go along and just enjoy the energies of the church. It's an opportunity for you to learn maybe a little bit more, even if you're not connecting to the spirit world, just how these things sort of go on. Also can knock your nerves from a church because lots of people still have quite a bad thought about the spooky church that's what i hear a lot about spiritual church the spooky church or there's weird things going down there you know and there's not you know it's just that we, we haven't quite people don't understand what's going on in there so for the general public it's a great opportunity for you to get a better understanding maybe understand when there's more demonstrators more professional demonstrators special sundays these types of things and an opportunity for you really to see exactly what goes on in there so open circles are really really um, important part of your mediumship for the Buddha medium and for the general public out there. So I hope this has answered some of the questions I have been asked and hopefully you'll enjoy the open circles as much as I do and a lot of other mediums across the world do as well. So I've been Danielle, better known as Danielle, a happy medium and I'll see you all very, very soon.